Okay, so today I'm going to teach the song Breaking the Girl by Red Hot Chili Peppers. And uh, I'm going to do this lesson in a different style than I usually do. So I'm going to just set up two microphones and a camera and just hit record on everything and just try to explain everything in one go. Don't edit too much and just see how it turns out. Yeah, okay, so this song, uh, I'm going to split it up in four parts. The verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus and the bridge. In the original song he uses a 12 string and he uses more than just one guitar as opposed to in this lesson where he just use uh, one six string guitar. So I'm not going to play it exactly like the original but uh, yeah I'm going to do it my, my own way. I'm going to I'm just going to teach how I did it in my cover and then you can just take it from there. Yeah okay so let's start. Uh, let's start off by mentioning that uh, the guitar is tuned a half step down so we got uh, something like this. Yeah. So now let's start with the verse. Yeah, that's how it sounds. So we're going to slowly build up to that. So First, just focus on being able to play the open A string, and I'm going to call it the A string even though it's a half step down. And then mute everything else. Uh, so mute the uh, low E with your uh, thumb and the other strings with your index finger. So. That's like step one. And then you uh, bar uh, the these three strings so the D G and B string so you get this A chord but you don't want to play it like this you want to play it with just your index finger so what you got is a muted uh, uh, E string with your thumb an open A and then D3 with your index finger and then a muted E high E with your index finger and then what you're gonna want to do is to slide this thing up so uh, you start on to bar this kind of you start with this bar shape on the second fret then you play it on the fourth and slide it to the fifth And then you play it on the 7th and on the 9th fret. So if you put that together you got this. Then you want to end it on this chord. And that is an open A and then from there it is uh, 11, 9, 10 and a muted E. So then you got and now the next thing to add to that is uh, pull-offs on the A string. So he typically does a pull off two frets above the fret that he's barring. So from here, when you're on barring the second fret, uh, you do it f uh, on the fourth fret. So and then when you slide it up to the fifth fret, you do it on the seventh fret. And then when you're on the uh, seventh thread, you actually do three frets up on the tenth thread, and then so if you put that together, you get. There one thing there is one thing missing and that's the strumming pattern so 
you probably have noticed that it's not a typical drumming pattern, so it doesn't sound like this. But what is wrong there? Well, you got a pretty even and a pretty generic kind of drumming pattern there, but what you want is like a more stuttering kind of uh, strumming pattern where you really you kind of play it uneven uh, unevenly between the up and down strokes. It's kind of hard to explain but you try to just get a general feel for it but you typically uh, hit it with a very short and hard uh, strum when you do the pull-ups so something like this. So slowly it's like And the bridge, you kind of just strum this a couple of times, a couple of downstrokes, and I like to end it on open strings. So. And now we're getting to the pre-chorus, which is pretty cool. It's really simple, but it's very effective. Uh, so you get this open C chord, open G chord and open A minor chord. And then you get the open C chord, the open G chord again, but this time you get the F chord. But instead, um, you, leave the o, you leave the high E string open. Instead of playing it like that, you play it like this. Uh, and these are very common chords that you can you want to know by heart and if you don't uh, practice those look them up and practice practice those and then come back to this video um, and here he still does that kind of strumming uh, that he still does that stuttering kind of strumming pattern but i like to uh, play it more evenly and really hard uh, for this part so i play something like this <laughs> Just to bring everything together, what you got is... We get to the coolest part. Okay, so now we get to the chorus, which is, which pretty much just consists of this staircase. You kind of climb up a staircase, and then you land a chord, and then you climb it up again, and then land on another chord. And that's pretty much it. 
Okay, so what are you playing there? Uh, so you're uh, in this staircase kind of thing. <laughs> you play the E string and then you mute the A string and then you play the D string and the G string. And you play those three strings all the time when you do that kind of staircase <laughs> thing. Uh, yeah, and um, the first step is this chord. Okay, so it's, the, uh, it's five muted and five, five. And the second chord is uh, seven muted, six, seven. So you got... And then you got this chord, which is eight muted, seven, nine. So putting everything together, you get... And the last chord of this staircase is this, which is 10 muted, as 9, 12. So putting everything together, you got... Then the first chord you land on is a simple E major, but in this bar shape, you know, in this shape. So that is from the A string seven nine nine nine. You mute the high E with your uh, ring finger and the low E with your index finger, and then you add this note, which is the 10th on the uh, high E string, so. And then you play this staircase again. And then you land on this chord which is uh, from the A string, it is uh, 8, 10, uh, 9, 10, a muted E, both the low and the high. And that, and then you just repeat that. So you got I don't really play it like the original song either for this part, uh, but what I do is something like something like that. of the chorus and want to exit it, all you do is play this. And then you can either jump to the verse or play the bridge. Uh, and what I play there to get out of the chorus is uh, from the eighth, from the A string, it is uh, eight, seven, eight, and then you, you just move that down a semitone. So you get uh, seven, six, seven, Uh, yeah, and now the last part, which is the bridge. Okay, 
Okay, so what you gonna want to do here is to just get comfortable in playing that. So just don't focus on what's going on with the chords and everything. Just focus on being able to play the open A string uh, with this kind of groove. So you just mute the other strings. You strum all strings, but mute uh, everything except for the open A. Yeah, just get comfortable doing that. And notice that I strum harder uh, sometimes. So notice that. So when... Uh, Sometimes when I strum harder, you're gonna want to play this A minor chord in this bar shape, but you don't play the whole chord, you just play this, which is, uh, from the D string it is 7 and then 5, 5, and you mute the high E, and the other strings as well, except for having an open A string. And you want to play this uh, when you do the hard, uh, hard strum, so, but not every time. Uh, <laughs> no, maybe that sounds complicated, but it's really simple. So, so just get comfortable in uh, doing that and alternate between playing the chord when you strum hard and just. Uh, not playing the chord when strumming hard. So just can get comfortable get comfortable in doing that. Uh, and then we, when you get comfortable in doing that, you want to add this. And this is of course the open A, and then you play this, which is. Um, 15th fret uh, on the D string, and from there it is 14, 15, 15. And you play that three times. Three times. So what you get is slowly. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Bye.